Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from scriptingisfun.com. Uh, in this video I want to go in and look at a few issues that uh, you may be having with the ranged attacking uh, for our enemy. Uh, when I made the video I did not have a collider on our enemy here. And uh, there's an issue, let me zoom in on him here, there's an issue when we add a collider to our enemy. We probably would want to do a collider so that the enemy can't walk through doors or walls or whatnot. So the problem is when you add a collider and then you go into the script, let's go to our attack function here for we're doing a ranged attack. When we're doing this raycast hit, uh, we're asking if what we hit is the target. The problem is that when we have a collider on our enemy and he does a raycast, the raycast actually starts from the center of the object, which is right here. The center of our spider uh, is inside of its own collider. So the raycast is going to report back to us the first collider it hits, which in this case will be the spider's own collider. So if we were to play the game with a collider, enabled and I walk up here by my spider you notice he stops and he turns towards us but he is not firing his webs and again that's because when he does the raycast he's hitting his own collider in the code here it says we're only going to fire a web if the thing that we hit if that transform equals the targets transform it's not going to it's going to equal the spider's own transform so there's a couple of ways that we can fix this uh, the easiest way if you don't need your uh, if you're not using uh, any kind of ray casting from your player or from anything else in your game that the spider would have to be worried about you could just tell the spider uh, to ignore raycast. So you would click on the spider in the hierarchy. Up here in the inspector there's a layer button. Uh, everything is in the default layer automatically but if you open this up you'll see one here called ignore raycast. So you could select ignore raycast which will then tell um, Unity that when I do raycasting uh, ignore any colliders on objects in this layer. So if I put it to ignore raycast and hit play we should actually be able to uh, be shot at again here. So see, there we go. Now he's shooting at me again and causing me damage. So that is one solution. Now again, the drawback to that is if I want to do any kind of ray casting towards this enemy, for instance, if I want to do some sort of a ranged attack and I want to see if I'm going to hit him or whatnot, and I'm using a ray cast to detect if I hit him, then it won't work. So that may or may not be a solution for you. It's the easiest one if you don't need ray casting back. If you want to do it another way, the other way, let's put him back in the default layer, is inside the spider here, if we give him a child empty game object. So I'm going to go on the enemy spider. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say create empty. I'm going to make sure that this empty game object is all zeroed out, positions and rotations. That empty game object is actually right here in the center of my player. And since it's a child, if I move the parent, the child moves with it. See, if when I move that spider over, this, this uh, empty game object underneath moved with him. What I can do here is I can rename this something like, um, we can just call it raycast point or fire point or gun position or whatever you want to call it um, and then I can grab this one here and move it so if I move this out here right in front of my spider's face here where I'm going to be shooting uh, these bullets from or the, the webs from I make sure that it's outside see here's where the circle ends for the collider so if I make sure this point is well outside of that collider like it is here then I could raycast from this point uh, keep the collider keep the default layer so this uh, spider will also register and raycast hits and that's another way to fix it so how you finish this off you would make the point you would position it outside the collider of the enemy here and then in our script we're going to have to add a link to this raycast point so we can get its position for the raycast so let's go here we'll go up to the top of our spider ai script and we will just add in a public transform because we want to get the uh, position rotation of this point and we'll just call this raycast point 
we'll save that we'll go out to unity and we will click in on our spider enemy that has that script the raycast point shows up in the list here I'm just going to drag the raycast point empty game object right here to the raycast point uh, variable so that is now linked in back in our script then when we go to do our attack and we do our raycast instead of raycasting from transform dot position what we're going to do is we're going to raycast from our raycast point dot position raycast point is a transform variable so I can get the position from that just like I was doing before and then transform dot up should be the same we've got this um, we've got this uh, raycast point oriented the same as our parent game object, so that should still work. And attack range should be fine. So now, let's save that. When we raycast, we're not raycasting from this center point. We're raycasting from this point forward along the y-axis. Okay, so let's test that out now and see if that also works for our player here so let's walk on up to find our spider oh he sees us and now he fires because that raycast position I'm, I'm starting the raycast from is outside of the collider of the player so that uh, will be a fix for that problem I hope they find that helpful uh, and it just goes to show whenever you're creating a project you test it out sometimes you don't think of everything the first time around and you have to go back and do a few fixes so if you are experiencing that problem with uh, the ray casting not working on your character it's quite possible that you had a collider on that character that was uh, blocking that ray cast All right, so I hope you found this helpful uh, please keep leaving comments and questions I do look at those and will occasionally make some videos to kind of fix those things uh, and give you solutions for how to do similar things in your projects. Thanks again. Have a great day.